Hi everybody, it's Brad again um, with another embroidery video. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a little bit of Studio 3. Um, Designer's Gallery Studio has been around for a long time. Um, I know a lot of people have had it for a long time and um, Studio 3 is the newest version of it. It is um, better than Designer's Gallery Studio Plus in that it works better with the newer versions of Windows that are out there. Um, just because of the way the file tree works, um, just it's a little more convenient to find your files um, in Studio 3. Plus, there's a, there's a lot of other differences too. Um, but that's uh, the fact that it's compatible with Vista and 7 and Windows 8 right out of the box, rather than you know having to fiddle with it and having error messages and stuff using the old Studio Plus on the newer operating systems. Um, so anyway, today what we're going to do is uh, learn how to reduce needle count. Um, and then sort the colors afterwards. So if you had a design that's got like 50 color changes, say, and you don't feel like sitting there hitting the start button 50 times, um, or maybe you have a 10 needle machine, or you've got a 6 needle machine, uh, and you know you've got a design that you just really don't feel like having to rethread the machine that many times. Um, so I'm just gonna get right into it. And the design that I want is on my C drive, so. If you're opening the program for the first time, it might look something like this here, where it just has a, a list of, here's my desktop, these are the things on my desktop, one of which is computer, and this uses a file tree, it's a little different than what you might be used to. The way a file tree works is you've got like a plus sign here, and if you see a plus sign that means there's something inside it. So if we hit this plus sign, it expands, and here's my menu of the things on my computer, my C drive is the first one, that's where my design is that I want to use. So I press the plus sign next to that. And I know that my design is in the designer's gallery folder. I'm going to press that. And in this folder I've got all these different ones in there. And the, the uh, file that I want is in my free designs. So I left click on this folder. If there was a little plus sign that would mean there's other folders inside this folder. There's not. So I know if I click on this it'll just be just be showing me the designs that I have in this folder. Um, I'm going to pick this little cottage here, and when I click on it, I've, it gives me a picture here, it tells me um, how many colors are in it, this is 18 colors in this, um, and uh, let's see, I can scroll down and see the needle counts, 18, these are all the different colors in it, it gives me this nice preview of it. Now, if your preview is not as big as mine, you can actually grab and scroll this. I find it's really helpful to have a nice big preview so I can really see what the design looks like. Um, anyway, I'm going to select the design. So I left click on the design if you haven't already picked one. And then I'm going to go up and hit this button here that says reduce needle count. Because I don't want to sit there and rethread the machine 18 times. So I hit reduce needle count. And I'm going to change the the number of needles down to six. So there's only six color changes after I do this. And here it gives me a little preview of what it'll look like. And the colors are a little muted, but it's still recognizable as a nice cottage. So I'm going to say OK. It tells me that one file was created. And here's my new file. So if I click back and forth, I can see in this larger image the differences here. Now if I don't like this, it's fine. I can just close out. This file won't even be saved unless I choose to save it. Because um, it's the, it creates a temporary file when you do stuff like this. Um, but if I like it, I might want to color sort it because it still is going to make me hit the stop button a bunch of times even though you know, um, there's only so many unique colors. Um, so if I go up and hit the this button up here, it looks like two spirals intersecting. If I hit color sort, just left click on that it creates an entirely new file. So I click on this new file. Wait, which one's that? Yeah, this is the this is the reduced and sorted one. And now this has the colors reduced as much as they possibly can be. So there's only six total colors in here. Twelve needle changes. There has to be 12 needle changes because of the way the layering works. It won't let you mess up the layering. Um, like I can't combine these deep golds here because just if I did then they would sew out and the, the layers would be off. But if you had a multi-needle machine like a six needle 
that would be okay because the machine would automatically swap back and forth um, uh, like a six needle or a ten needle even um, so if I had a ten needle then I could have chosen to do ten colors and had it all sew out at once and, and not be a hassle so let's see if I like those colors better um, if I click out of this folder even for just one click out the temporary files are automatically deleted I would have to have saved them to like a flash drive or something in order to get them to be saved so I'm gonna go back here and here's my original again so again we click on reduce needle count this time I'm gonna just go to 10 click OK let's look between the two very subtle difference and that would look fine to sew that out that way the the shutters just match these flowers now it's no big deal and it's a small price to pay for being able to just hit the start button and come back and have it be done rather than hit the start button and then come back and rethread it and then hit the start button again you know it's it's a time saver and nobody's gonna see the original design anyway they're gonna see the one that you sew out and they'll never even know that you did it so that's a really useful function uh, as particularly for people with multi-needle machines um, to be able to do that and then of course you want to make sure you go and color sort it too although it's not as big a deal really if you're using a multi-needle machine see here it can't even reduce anything because just be again because of the layering so anyway that's all I'm going to show you uh, on this short video um, and I'll, I'll be back with more stuff on Studio 3 in the coming days and weeks um, so hope you enjoyed the video thanks and I'll see you on the next one